So I will talk about uh, some linear server. So one presentation that is not directly related to optimization server, but uh, some things that is uh, idly used in optimization server, and in particular in nonlinear solver. So I will present LibHSL. So what is LibHSL? LibHSL is a collection of Fortran and C routines that have been developed to solve uh, uh, many problems in linear algebra and in particular sparse linear systems and eigenvalue problems. So if you know, for example, sweet sparse, we have, uh, it's quite similar to sweet sparse for the linear solver. And uh, these tools are quite useful if you want to use optimization problems, in particular uh, when we want, for example, to use the KKT systems. And it's important to have an efficient code for that. And for example, if you use IPOPT, almost 70% of the time is spent for solving the linear solver inside the nonlinear solver. So it's important to have an efficient code for that. And during the last 30 years, uh, the team of HSL developed different packages, and it was quite difficult to use them uh, in higher level language. And I started to, to collaborate with them to say, to build a new package, which is a collection with everything. So I worked uh, with Rutherford at Pulton Laboratory to do one unique package that has a new build system based on Mason, and that contains everything inside. And at the end, you just have one shared library to easily link with everything inside. And the advantage of this package is it's way easier to use in different uh, language like Julia or Python or also C for Trang and C++ because now we provide pre-compiled library. Because as we know, sometimes compiling Fortran on Windows, for example, is not so easy. We have different incompatibility due to libg Fortran. So the advantage is we have everything. We only have one shared library and we also provide a pre-compiled version of the code. And in particular, for the Julia ecosystems, I work on a GLL. So for those that don't work too much on Artifact, it's just a way to easily install pre-compiled code in the Julia ecosystems. And compared to what we have to do before, before if you want to use, for example, IPOPT with uh, HSL in our server, it was mandatory to compile yourself IPOPT and give some option to use your own share library on your computer to use it. Sometimes you get incompatibilities, so it was difficult. And with this new package, you just need to enter one command to install it at the normal Julia package. And if you do that, you directly have access to the HSL in our solver in the optimization server that support it, for example, IPOPT. So it's very easy to use. Uh, the main difference is HSL is not an operations package. So the software, uh, depending on your status, are not free. If you're working in academia, you can download them for free. But what we did to, um, for easily supporting, supporting the um, package in the Julia ecosystem is that we registered a dummy version. So by default, HSL GLL is an official package in the Julia ecosystem. It's almost an empty shell. You only have one routine. And this routine helps to determine if we have the official or not version. And based on that, after, we can use or not the HSL linear solver. So here I give you an example how we can check if we have the official, linear so the official GLL that is installed or not. And depending on that, we can, if we rely on the C or C++ code that was compiled with HSL to use the HSL linear solver, if you, uh, if you implemented your own Julia solver, you can that way dispatch between HSL or other server like shell mode or what is available in the Julia ecosystem. Uh, and also for the users that don't want directly to use optimization solver that was developed in other languages and you want to implement your own linear solver, you can use uh, HSL.gl, HSL which is the Julia interface that allow to use all the routines that have been implemented in Fortran and C easily in Julia. So for example, if you want to implement your solver in Julia, you can directly have access to this highly implemented routine for solving linear solver, linear systems. Just uh, a few remarks about HSL. IPOPT have an option to use or not this linear solver, but other commercial linear optimization solver like Artelis Nitro, which is one of the most efficient ones for solving non-linear optimization problems, used by default HSL MA57. And in MATLAB, when you do backslash with symmetric systems, you use MA57 under the wood.
to an idea in which context I use this linear solver. And here I give you just now an example how we can easily switch the linear solver in uh, IP opt. So we have here um, a jump model, and you only need to change one option, which is a linear solver, to dispatch directly to the MA57 or MA97. We have five uh, HSL linear solvers that are implemented in, uh, with IP opt, and just like this, you can dynamically switch between the solver. By default, the linear solver that is interfaced in um, IP opt is MEMS. It is a default one. But just like this, you can easily switch and try the other one, potentially. The other thing that we work uh, a lot the last few months and years, uh, last year at least, is uh, to pre-compile IP opt in the Julia ecosystems, but also all dependency, which in MEMS, MEMS the other linear solver spiral, and as well HSL to rely on libblast trampoline. What is this libblast trampoline? It's just a way to easily switch the blast and LAPAC backend at runtime. So depending on your architecture, you can easily switch. So by default, we will, if nothing is loaded, no, we don't have any blast or LAPAC that is loaded, IPF.gl will automatically load a multi-threaded version, which is available for everyone, which is open blast. But if you have an Intel chip, or you are using the new Apple M chips, you can just use Apple Accelerate or MKL to use more efficient blast and LAPAC routine. And you can have a significant speed up just by using a blast or LAPAC version that is optimized for your, your platform. And if you are using an EMD chip, for example, you also have optimized blast and LAPAC library for your platform, and you can here just provide the path for your platform. Recently, I tried a new uh, architecture developed by NVIDIA. You know that they recently released a new uh, CPU chip, and they also have their own BLAST, which is NVBLAST. And I was able to try also uh, HSL GLL on this new platform directly. Next, I can show you uh, an example. So here, I'm, during the, the conference, a few of you presented poor flow problems. So here, I solved the biggest one when we have half of the United States. So um, one of the biggest problems uh, of the power problems, power flow problems. And I compared different linear solver to for this like. Here you can see the number of non-zero, so it's quite of big KKT systems. And you can see if you use a default solver without any modification, it will take this amount of time to solve it. And if we switch with the other linear solver in HSL, you can significantly reduce the amount of time to solve the problems. And you can uh, even more improve the, uh, this elapsed time if you switch also the BLAST. By default, here it's open BLAST, but if you are using MKL with Intel chip, you can also improve everything. So we compare to the default option, you can have a nice speed up if you combine HSL with, for example, MKL. So what we plan in the future? So first, because we are using in Julia, a lot of things are compiled uh, with 64-bit integers. And by default in C, you would like to use C 32-bit. Uh, uh, so we're working on a new version to have both library, one compiled with LP64 and another one with ILP64 Blast and LAPAC. So we really have both versions for the users that want, for example, use their own optimization solver in Julia. It's easier to have a, a version that works with 64-bit integer. And the other one is a project uh, that I'm working on with Yendef about doing a GPU version of MA57. And we are working on that, in particular to implement um, the solver in the case that we can avoid pivoting. So it will be more or less an LDL decomposition, where we can avoid uh, pivoting, for example, when we have a symmetric quasi-definite system or symmetric positive definite. Uh, so as a conclusion, LibHSL is a, a collection that contains everything that you could need in, in the SSL package. Linear solver, eigenvalue solver, scaling, uh, reordering, so you can incomplete also preconditioner. Uh, the GLL is just an easy way to install everything in Julia ecosystem, so you just need, to, just need to enter one command to be able to access to everything. This version is precompiled with on-platform and architecture. And if you want to use the HSL routine, but not directly for your own solver, 
you can rely on uh, the Julia interface hsl.gl that allow you to use the routine as if they were implemented directly in Julia. And uh, the last comment is if you're working in academia, you can download it, download it for free. Thank you.